y'all it's your girl Brittany, and i'm back with another video 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 make sure you like comment subscribe share all that so y'all <sighs> today we're gonna talk about episode four of baddies caribbean and <sighs> y'all i don't even know where to start like yeah <laughs> let's get into it but y'all let me just say this before i start my analysis y'all I'm watching these people on the show. I don't know these people in real life. So if I say I don't like somebody, I don't want I don't like them on the show. And yeah, I'm watching the show like everybody else. So my opinions are going to change per episode. It, it's certain people that I don't like. No lie, like y'all know I don't like Mariah Land, but I don't think that's gonna change. But <laughs> no tea, no shame. But yeah, y'all. Um watching these episodes like everybody else and i'm just talking about the episode so yeah and y'all i got a few opinions on here that yeah let, let's just get into it let, let's just get into it okay so the episode starts with natalie scotty and sapphire recapping the night before and of course sapphire is saying she wants to fight bianca over again about the whole wig thing but the crazy thing is she keeps saying oh this is not about the wig this is not about the wig this is not about the wig like girl at this point it's about the wig because you're saying you want to fight bianca over and over and over again and the, and the word i keep hearing is wig so yeah if it's about the wig then y'all don't need to fight no more like i said in my last recap and a recap before that I'm over this whole Sapphire and Bianca thing because at first it was about Mariah Lynn and now it's about this wig. Sapphire is not saying it's about the wig, but baby, it's about the wig. So at this point, drop it. Y'all don't need to fight no more. Just ask Bianca to send you $50 for that wig, that lace baby, because yeah, at this point, thank you, next. And first of all, but let me just say, Sapphire looks good as hell. Sapphire looked good in her confessional. So let me just say that. And then... <clears throat> Sapphire, the three of them, they're talking about the whole Gretchen situation, of course. And I agree with Sapphire. Like, okay, if you say the N-word, then, okay, around the people, around your people, and they say they don't care, cool. But now you're around the group of new people, and these new people are saying they don't like you saying it. They're uncomfortable with it. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But the fact that Gretchen is, going, is not going to stop saying it is a problem. And yeah, and let me just say this. Natalie's hair looked good. And honestly, I like Scotty's confessional dress. Like, the girl, I feel like looks were serving in the confessionals for a few of the girls. But yeah, they talk about this whole Gretchen thing. And honestly, I don't know why they're recapping it. Because Gretchen's not going to stop saying the N-word because they're uncomfortable with it. So the question is, what are they going to do about Gretchen? Because yeah, she's not going to stop saying it. So and I really don't want this whole Gretchen storyline. Like, if Gretchen's going to stay on the show, I really don't want this whole storyline to be everybody fighting her over the N-word. Either send her home or send her home. Because, yeah, let's, let's stop dragging this out. Like, last season of Baddies, they gave us 50 episodes because they were dragging shit out. And now, like, I don't want a repeat of that. Like, yeah. How about we just send Gretchen home, okay? Oh, and then another thing I forgot. Um, Yeah, Natalie is saying she thinks a couple of the girls need to go home and she's going to bring replacements in. And the thing is, y'all, there are so many people on this show. It's like, if she wants to send people home, they should just be sent home. There should not be people replacing people. Like, there are too many people on this freaking show. Like, how about we just send people home and these people just go home because yeah uh-uh like why is there so many people on the show side note side note because i know we said we wanted new people but natalie what we wanted is for the ogs to leave completely and have these replacements replace these ogs we didn't want to see the ogs and the replacements be mixed like nah we wanted the ogs to completely leave the the show the series and just have new people come in and replace that but since that's not happening her keep mixing all these people and they're like damn why we got so many people on this show i can't keep up y'all okay so we get to the next scene and it's jayla and the twins and jayla <laughs> talks about how she had to go to the doctors the hospital or whatever and, ha and had to get a tetanus shot because of gretchen biting her 
valid, valid, valid. And the girls also talk about the biggie thing. And Jayla basically says she's over it finally. Thank God. She said they already run their face for it. And I'm just glad that she thinks that it's no reason for her to keep fighting biggie. But yeah, so I'm glad that's over it. Hopefully that storyline is completely dead it because I really just did not want to see Jayla and Biggie keep fighting over this crap. So yeah, but now, you know, Jayla is, of course, she's about to be stuck on this whole Gretchen bite thing. And we don't know where that's going to go, but she said she got to take a shot for it. So I don't know if she's saying that she's over it or if she's saying that um, she still got beef with Gretchen. Like, I'm not really sure. She didn't elaborate it elaborate on it that much but yeah that's happened and then next we go to biggie and meatball and they talk and y'all when biggie and meatball talk you know biggie said something about her eyes she was just like i forgot what she said about specifically like i think she was saying something um to the fact like oh you know my eyes not really messed up it was something to that nature and meatball was just like nah girl like your eye is kind of messed up no tino shade and <laughs> they just talk about it and then you know tinkerbell comes in and wait first of all before tinkerbell comes in meatballs in her confessional she says she feels like jayla bully biggie because she black biggie's eye and she hit jayla and y'all honestly i have an opinion about this like i really don't feel like biggie got bullied i feel like that was jayla wrong for like sneaking biggie yeah like she shouldn't have snuck her like if she wanted to fight her she should have just told biggie like square up fight or whatever but at the same time the reason why i don't say jayla and biggie well jayla biggie bully is because of the fact like jayla and biggie they had their little beef they already fought like biggie kind of stood up and swung on her on the yacht and then after that they were just bickering back and forth like even the time when jayla snuck biggie like they were sitting down and they were talking shit back and forth so i wasn't surprised that jayla hit biggie because that's the type of person jayla was is and then on top of that her friends just got there and she was showing out for her friends like was it messed up yes should she have hit biggie should she have hit biggie no but will i say that jayla's was bullying biggie no biggie was talking shit and jayla reacted to that shit talking face to face by them hitting one another and honestly y'all that's just my opinion about it i'm sorry like i really don't think biggie has been getting bullied by jayla i really just feel like biggie was talking shit and jayla hit her for it <laughs> y'all i'm sorry don't hit me don't hit me and so then tinkerbell comes out and she says dtv snuck her at the audition to impress natalie and i honestly haven't seen the baddies caribbean auditions so i'm not i haven't really seen their whole interaction their thing but as from what i'm hearing on the show and from what i'm seeing online it it really does look like that it just looked like dtb snuck her like took her wig off or something like that and tinkerbell you know she's just talking about how she doesn't look like she got how she got into a fight and blah 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 and it's like yeah of course like their fights were honestly weak like dtb hit her like a good two two three times max and that was it like they fell out the door like their fight was honestly just a wrestling match so tinkerbell saying it don't look like she got into a fight it's just like okay cool because y'all wasn't y'all fights really wasn't doing nothing and I, I not and the thing is tinkerbell saying this as if she did something to dtb it's like girl y'all both fine y'all wasn't doing shit but wrestling so it's just like yeah y'all both fine so it's just like like yeah whatever and then and then after that we get to the scene and they have dia slim and dtb and honestly y'all dtb was kind of flatline for me but she's kind of going down because of the fact that <sighs> she basically just said like yeah she did she hit old girl to get on the show but the reason like I, all these girls 
they're on this show for some type of attention and i hate that the only reason the only way they feel like they gotta get attention to be on this show is fighting like i know this show is about fighting and whatnot but i hate that the only way that they can get on this show is to fight because it's just like if you fight then it's like okay you can do that in the house but them doing the most at auditions and whatnot it's kind of cringe to me but yeah dtb basically said that she hit tinkerbell just to get on the show but the re th that came about because um dia is slim asked about it and they're just like oh us and tinkerbell we're so close that's our girl and blah 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 and i'm just like i could have sworn this was like day two three in the house like why is everybody so bff ish like girl relax you know them saying like they're so close with her it's just like since when like i thought all y'all just moved in together but that's neither here or there yeah but dtb admits like yeah she basically just hit old girl because she wanted to be on the show and that's it and the reason why that's annoying is because of the fact like she's so upset and riled up that tinkerbell you know took her wig and did all that it's just like girl you fought this girl to get on the show and y'all fought again and it just should have been like that honestly you did some shit you did some shit to her to get attention she did some shit to you to get attention and y'all basically don't got no reason to dislike each other y'all really just fighting each other just to fight for camera time and attention and that's honestly what it sounds like and that's basically what she just said and she's trying to make this thing now about oh she michael jackson moonwalk with my wig okay and you snatched her wig off on auditions to get on the show and now that you guys are on the show she took your wig too so it's just like y'all fighting each other for camera time it's just like it's just not it's it's just weird and the only reason why it's weird because dtb is really acting like it's some type of big 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 problem like she don't like the girl and it's just like i don't know why you don't like the girl and you started this problem and the thing is she knows she started this problem and so i don't know why she's so confused so it's just like it's like y'all this, this whole thing is just annoying me because of the fact like she knows what she's doing but she's on but at the but on the same y'all i'm sorry like i can't talk she knows what she's doing she knows she's doing dtb knows she's doing this for attention she knows she's not the girl wig for attention she knows she's fighting this girl for attention but at the same time she's mad that old girl is reacting to it that that's the thing for me like you're mad that old girl's reacting to it like if y'all like you she really could have just hit home girl up and be like yo you, you want to do a storyline for attention and it could have been less like <laughs> like like she's just really confused on why tinkerbell is taunting her on why tinkerbell is taking her wig and why tinkerbell is doing this to her but it's like you started this you said you're doing this for attention and now she's doing the same thing like at this point y'all just need to be friends y'all just need to be the lame dynamic duo of the house that try to make people laugh and fail like mariah lynn like y'all can just do that but instead y'all fighting each other for a storyline because it's like and the crazy thing is what are y'all fighting for you don't want that pulled her hair off for attention like is this what you, like is this the beef this is my thing is this the beef camera time and attention then um after dtb talks like it's dia she talks and she talks about this whole gretchen thing and she ba well slim says she hit gretchen because gretchen said the n-word dia says she hit gretchen as well but y'all want to know what is dia said is dia said something like she ripped that girl's head off when did that happen like where did that happen like was i not watching the screen when that happened or maybe we weren't watching the same thing because it's just like it's dia i think she's cute and she says she came on here to put on for the bahamas and it's like okay cool 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 represent your city girl i mean yeah represent your country represent your city like represent your place but yeah girl don't be on here lying like you're not representing yourself well because you trying to stand on business and losing and then being telling people that you standing on business and winning it's like 
that ain't it so that ain't it yeah it's dia she says she wants to fight again and honestly i really don't want it's dia to fight again because i don't want her to keep embarrassing herself like i said she's cute and it's like i really just want don't want to see her keep embarrassing herself like it's dia should only fight if she gets called out for a fade like she shouldn't be the one trying to initiate these fights because of the fact that surely don't know how to fight and at this point it's honestly just embarrassing yeah yeah y'all honestly it's embarrassing and i don't want to see it happen but she also kind of got vulnerable and they shut it off she talks about her life in the bahamas and i think she says something about um something happening to one of her family members i don't want to put the wrong information out there but she said something about um something happened to one of her family members but the conversation was kind of short and it's like yeah yeah even though this show is about fighting and ignorance and whatnot i do actually want to know about these girls why they act the way they act where they come from because it's like yeah like i'd be curious and that's one of the reasons why i like bad girls club because it's like these 21 year olds just had so much anger in them and i just wanted to know why and they kind of elaborated on that on bad girls club but on here we're not really getting to know these girls we really just watching them fight and like i said i'm here for it i'm here for the ignorance but i just kind of like to see you know these girls backgrounds and where they came from but that's neither here or there let's go to the next scene next biggie calls tommy and when biggie calls tommy like on baddies was it baddies west or east when they were on there i can't remember but baddies i think it was baddies east well whichever the one tommy and um um biggie were on there like it was kind of edited like tommy really didn't f with biggie and tommy was basically kind of saying like she does f with biggie like y'all just took one type of perception and ran with it and whatnot and biggie and tommy talk and i actually like their conversation i can't wait to see them together but i love tommy's intro tommy looks good and yeah tommy shit i know i can't wait for tommy to turn shit up in here and biggie already told tommy that natalie's kind of being messy but tommy sit here and she said that she knows how to reciprocate energy and she's on whatever type of time time anyone else is on and that y'all didn't respect her when she was trying to grow but she said apparently y'all respect bs so that's you know if anybody wants it she gonna get it but at the same time she represent energy so yeah that was tommy you know i can't wait to see tommy back on here and i really hope that the way this is edited is not really on some yeah like i said from what we saw on the other show it did kind of seem like biggie was kind of riding on tommy but i really hope that we see more like a more friendship dynamic between them because it looks like they're they're actually friends and tommy even said that they're actually friends so i really hope we can see the friendship between them so yeah i'm really excited for tommy to get back on here okay y'all we get to the beach and <sighs> Well, I'm telling y'all, I had to go back and rewind and watch this in slow motion like twice. And I still honestly don't know what's going on. Like, all I know is that it all started, the beach, the beach bra started with Natalie bringing the replacements in. And like before the replacements came in, it was kind of like a vibe. Like everybody was talking like, you know, but the replacements came in and Natalie was just like, I feel like a couple of girls need to go. And like I said, let me just say this. Like, I hate that the um, the girls feel like the only way that they can get on this show is fighting, which it probably is. But the thing is, some of y'all girls be fighting and y'all still don't get on the show. Like, I heard that these auditions be crazy. People be going all out and they still don't get on the show. But it's just like, like, it's just crazy. But the, the whole beach fight started with Mariah Lynn addressing Callie and because Callie spit on her and honestly spitting's not okay spitting is ignorant spitting is disrespectful and i'll hold a, a vendetta against somebody if they spit on me too honestly like honestly so mariah lynn is talking to Callie, and you know they're just kind of going back and forth and then out of nowhere natalie kind of chimes in and they're kind of bickering back and forth but everybody's not fighting and then out of nowhere this girl jelly bean comes in 
and she just hits Callie. And the reason why she said she hit Callie, cause she said Natalie's my friend off camera. And like everything she said after that is irrelevant because it's like you hit Callie because you said Natalie's your friend. Do you like, do you guys not understand that Natalie doesn't do friends? Natalie's not anybody's friend. Natalie is just a girl like she's just the ep on the show and she's yeah she's making you guys do things for her show to get ratings like natalie's nobody's friend like for so for jelly bean to come on here and say that she hit callie because of natalie it's just like girl at this point you just you deserve to get beat up just because you're stupid like like and it's like after that it was a brawl like I don't know who was fighting who like it was like I watched it in slow motion like twice and it was a brawl like everybody like a lot of people were just fighting and it was like it was just a lot going on like that whole portion of that like after Jelly Bean hit Cali like I don't know who was fighting who I think I think Gretchen was fighting I think it's Dia was fighting I think um I think Nunu was fighting. I think Meatball was fighting. It was a lot of people that were fighting and I don't know who was fighting who. All I know is that by the time the all those fights were over, no wigs were on. It was a lot of people who wigs weren't on their heads. And I was just like, okay, I'm like, <laughs> okay. As that's going on, the Claremont twins leave. They said it's their birthday. They didn't agree to this and they at least kind of wanted some birthday cake, some candles. So they just leave, they dip out. And I think this was, I don't know how long they were supposed to stay on the show, but I really don't think they're gonna stay on their log anyways because they were special guests or whatever. But yeah, the Claremont twins dip out. They say this is ghetto, like they didn't agree to this. And as the Claremont twins are leaving, um, Tommy pulls up in a car and she just honestly, y'all, I don't know the Claremont twins apart because people are like, oh, she checked Shannon, she checked Sinead. I was like, I honestly count them as the same person. So she checked the Claremont twins. I don't know who responded. I just count them all as one person because I don't know the Claremont twins apart. Sorry. So yeah, Tommy Clutch checks the Claremont twins. They're just like, oh, do we have an issue? And and the Claremont twins were just like, do we? And she and it was something about some Instagram stuff like I don't know and at that point I was just like oh, okay like they fighting over Instagram like okay so they hug it out and after that the Claremont twins leave the Claremont twins honestly they're they were just a special guest their purpose served what it was supposed to do they were just there and they're background characters so yeah oh and y'all speaking of background characters I saw this tweet and I also wanted to talk about it so somebody said that um Tasiki was a background character and honestly y'all I low-key agree with it uh trust me I wouldn't get in the field with Tasiki at all but yeah Tasiki I very much do consider her a background character because the only time she's even on camera besides her confessionals is if she's fighting like I really don't see a lot of interaction or I really don't see Tasiki at all like I think the last time we saw her, I feel like the only time we saw her was when she was talking to Biggie outside and then when she was doing the wig with Bianca and them. Like, honestly, like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, and then on top of that, I'm guessing they're just waiting for Tasiki to pop up, pop off on somebody so they can get that footage and get that camera time. But until then, it's like if Tasiki never pops off on anybody or eats what she say, my bad. If Tasiki never eats, then it's just like she's really just going to be the background character. And it's just like if Tasiki never fights, are you guys just going to keep bringing her back? Like this spot can be filled with somebody else. And like I said, um, this is gonna sound hella hypocritical because like I said, like I know the show, like the premise of the show is going to be to fight and I know Tasiki is a fighter, but at the same time, it's just like, if y'all not gonna get the girl no camera time, then it's like, what's the point of her being on here? Like it's a lot of girls or it's some girls where I feel like they could probably go cause they're not doing anything. They're just standing in a background and 
I just feel like it's a waste of space. It's a waste of storage. And yeah, y'all, I'm sorry. Like, I like Tzatziki. And like I said, it seems like Tzatziki's just a girl where they're just like, fuck. Like, when is she going to fight so we can put her on here? Like, we, because it's just like, we really don't see her. Like, we don't see her interactions with people. We kind of, we see her confessionals, but that's it. Like, the only time I feel like I see Tzatziki is when she's talking in her confessionals. And it's just like... When we gonna see more Tzatziki? And if, if not, then it's like, what's the point? Like, cause if she never fight and y'all waiting on her to fight, if she never fight, then it's just like, the spot can just be given to somebody else. It's just like, now we have the actual fights that I actually saw. So first we have Meatball and this girl named J.O and um i ain't gonna lie meatball didn't get whooped at all but i really do feel like jo was getting a mess getting the best of meatball in all of their rounds no lie no to no shade but i really do feel like jo was getting the best of meatball in all their fights and then on top of that y'all after they fight it starts to rain and then we have mariah lynn with another corny confessional in it was just like i get what she was trying to do but you know her jokes just don't land they're too forced and like yeah anyways then we have it's dia and <laughs> yeah new new what it's dia's ass like and the fact that she came back again and she got her ass beat again and the fact that after that she tried to call for a fade again talking about i'm caribbean like don't put her on there it's just like yeah you caribbean and this is baddie's caribbean but yeah girl and it was too embarrassing i was just like y'all i was embarrassed for her like i was really embarrassed for her like nunu knocked its dia on her ass twice like i i really felt so bad for her like i really did like i really did like i feel bad for her all right and then um this girl named heaven y'all honestly heaven kind of gave me ari vibes like in the face and even the hair like the wig she had like it honestly kind of gave me ari vibes like y'all y'all let me know if i'm if this is a reach but it definitely gave ari vibes so it's heaven <laughs> comes out and she's just like all right who wants it and y'all bianca steps out and i'm guessing she wanted to you know put on for her team like okay this the ogs you know i honestly don't know why bianca stepped out there bianca she ain't no b you know she was i know bianca would step out in the field but i was just like oh man y'all should have put somebody out there that was actually gonna win like y'all Bianca didn't get her, she didn't get whooped like it's Dia, but in the back of the fight, all I heard was swing, Bianca, swing, Bianca, get her, Bianca. Like the fact that they were trying to coach her through the fight, trying to tell her to swing, that's a problem. So it's like, y'all, the replacements, I ain't gonna lie, the replacements was eating the OGs, the original cast up, and I ain't gonna lie, I felt kind of bad for them because i know that's not what they expected the outcome to be i really i really know that they knew that they were gonna eat the replacements up but they didn't know the replacements wanted this camera time so much to the point that they was gonna whoop they that they was gonna you know <laughs> that they was gonna come out like this you know like the replacements they wanted this camera time they wanted this spot like they was on a diamond the body type stuff like they were just fighting for a camera time in a storyline because that's basically all I was doing like there's no real beef between anybody the replacements in the ogs or original cast not like these girls know each other at all like at this point everybody was just calling out face because it's just like okay is this how i'm gonna get in the house where's the camera okay yeah let me fight her because yeah like and then at this point it's just like this is what it's gonna be for the rest of the season because now boom got beef with boom because they fought on the beach and it's no real beef it's just the fact that y'all just wanted camera time so much to the point that y'all just fighting called out phase for no reason that was hardcore beef because y'all want a storyline and it's just like 
I really don't want to be like that. I at least like when the girls fight and it's beef. But when the girls fight and there's no beef and they're just doing it for a storyline, it just kind of gets too cringe for me. And like I said, I know that's hypocritical because I sit here and I say I like the BS and I like the ignorance. And yeah, I do because I love the BS reality TV stuff. But I just like it when the beef when I can see the beef, like is beef actually there? But the fact that it's no beef and everybody's just fighting because they want a storyline, it's kind of like, really? Like, okay, I guess I'll just watch all these unnecessary fights. Like, but yeah, y'all, after this, y'all, Mariah Lynn approaches Callie again about this whole spitting thing. And I'm glad that Callie kind of let it go because Kelly would have beat Mariah Lynn's ass so bad. Mariah Lynn, she ain't no B. Mariah Lynn, not scary. She would have got out there, but even Mariah Lynn knew that she was going to get beat up because Mariah Lynn, she was talking, but she was kind of hesitating, like, you know, like, damn, like, you know, I'm not no bitch. I know I got to get out here, but if she don't want to fight, I'm not going to get out there. But yeah, I'm glad that Callie was just like, you know, girl, I ain't mean to spit on you, blah, blah, blah. And the crazy thing is they handshake, they hugged, and then they, and then Callie pushed her and Riley was just like, girl, don't push me. And after that, like I said, I'm just glad Mariah Lynn didn't get beat up by Callie because I don't like Mariah Lynn, but seeing her get beat up by Callie, it, it would have hurt my heart because it would have been too much and then y'all so after that jelly bean and Je callie goes over to the other side with the original cast and honestly callie was an original cast member like she came in the house first so that's where she should have been anyways and so she called her and jelly bean they kind of square in y'all callie beat jelly beans ass so bad to the point where it's just like oh i just had my mouth open and i was you know, when I went back and rewatched it, I was just like, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm, be, I'm dramatic. I'm being dramatic. But I, that's how bad I felt for it. And now I know if I ever fight somebody, all I got to do is kick them first. And then when they fall, I'm going to whoop their ass. <laughs> so I learned something. I never thought I would say I learned something from baddies. But now after watching what Kelly did the jelly bean i'm just like if i ever fight somebody that's what i'm gonna do to them but yeah y'all kelly beat jelly beans ass so bad to the point where i'm just like yo please don't bring jelly bean into this house because her getting beat up like this was too embarrassing natalie calls out gretchen for this whole for the situation that happened previously and y'all they're going back and forth and gretchen is using the n-word again and y'all at this point, it's just like, oh, okay, let me say this. Yeah, so Gretchen says it again, and Jayla is trying to swing at her, but she misses her punches, and she's just trying to swing at her again. And it's like, my thing is, Gretchen's not going to stop saying this. Like, she's been saying this her whole life. That was her first word as a child. Like, Gretchen's not going to stop saying it. So it's like, at this point, it's like, Y'all just need to send her home because she's not going to stop saying it. And y'all fighting her every time she says it. It's just like, we're not trying to see it. She's not supposed to be saying it and she keeps saying it. So just send her home for it. Like, oh. And then y'all, in the midst of this, Tommy runs up on a horse talking about what's up, ladies. <laughs> and then the episode ends. Y'all, th th this was just too much for me. It was a lot of fighting. I didn't know who was fighting at first. And then when the fights did happen, the replacements were, you know, getting the best out of the original cast. And it was just too much. Then Tommy pulling up on the horse in the midst of this was just a lot. And uh, okay, let me see my thoughts. I don't know where to start. And I, I just feel like when I do say this one thing, somebody gonna be mad at me. But honestly, y'all, it's the truth. So I saw this tweet about Biggie and Meatball. And somebody was like, their friendship was cute. And I feel like their friendship is very cute. Like, I do like the fact that it seems like Biggie has... It's growing a genuine bond in a house with somebody because it seems like in all the seasons, it's kind of like Biggie versus. It seems like it's Biggie versus whoever. Like, she seems like Biggie doesn't have really a good time in the house. And it's just like seeing her friendship with Meatball and Tzatziki. It was just like, I like seeing that for her. But focusing on her 
relationship with Meatball, y'all. But I really do feel like her relationship with Meatball is kind of something that she wanted with Roly. Like they had a lot of similarities. They both had the physical appearance and they honestly would have been a good duo for Zeus. And I feel like, I honestly feel like that's probably what Biggie wanted. You know, I don't know Biggie. I can't speak for Biggie. But awful from what I see, it kind of seemed like that's kind of what Biggie wanted. And that's kind of why she was upset about this thing with Rolly. Why she wanted this friendship. Not why she wanted it, but why she was upset that it kind of didn't happen. Because it was like, yo, we are two bad bitches. We're both big. Because not like Rolly's ugly. Like, we're both big. We're both beautiful. We're, we both got big personalities. Like, I really do feel like if Biggie and Rolly got real real close on Zeus that could have been a big that could have been a good duo bruh they really could have been a good duo and I really do feel like she's finding this um she's happy that she has this bond with Meatball because it's like you know they're both beautiful they're both bigger they both got big personalities and it's just like she probably wanted that with Rolly but now Rolly she wanted to be weird bully and she wanted to be a bully and whatnot so it was like F Rolly and then I'm glad that she's kind of finding that with Meatball and y'all I'm sorry like I don't want to sound ignorant when I say that and be like oh Blah, 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 blah. But I really do feel like Biggie wanted that relationship with Rolly. And I feel like I'm glad that she has it with Meatball because, yeah, like, and it seemed like she's happy with it. So, yeah, that's my thought on that because I really did see, see that tweet. And they were just like, oh my gosh, Meatball and Biggie are cute. And it just really made me think, like, yeah, she probably wanted this with Rolly. And then, too, like I said, I really do consider Tasiki as a background character. Like, I get it. Fighting is how you get camera time on there. But it's a lot of people I see. Like, I see Aubrey O'Day hella more than I see Tasiki, and that's because Aubrey O'Day is still actually entertaining without fighting like I feel like Tasiki can be entertaining without fighting but they only want to put her on there when she wants to fight hence making her a background character three Gretchen's not gonna stop saying the n-word so I feel like they should just send her home four it's Dia <laughs> I'm sorry y'all it's Dia should be sent home simply due to the fact that she got beat up like that like i'm so sorry five let's not put jelly bean in the house just because of the fact that callie really whooped her like that like like and it was just it was just embarrassing for her and honestly y'all ooh, ooh, ooh. let me see the Claremont twins left and it's just like and honestly everybody that left doesn't need to be replaced and I'm gonna just say that too like it's just a lot going on in this show it's a lot of people and whatnot and y'all yeah, yeah 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 but like I said I'm, I'm honestly kind of here for the replacements you know it seemed like they standing on business but i just hate the fact that like i said now it's about to be unnecessary beef just because of the fact that the replacements one in the storyline but i really hope that you know the girls that do come in and the girls that do stay that it's just not like that like let's let's at least get some real beef and let them fight over that because now like i said it's just about to be us fighting because of the fact that blah 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 ran up on blah 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 for the beach fight for a storyline and it's just like and then we have the thing that says next up come on and i'm glad that tommy tommy is beating natalie's ass like honestly y'all natalie is just so messy she stirs up all this drama and when something happens to her she looks confused or even when drama happens every natalie just be acting so confused but it's just like girl you made all of this so tommy beating natalie's ass i'm here for it i hope it happens and y'all i don't know why y'all really thought natalie was gonna beat tommy up like i remember when the trailer first came out everybody's like oh my gosh natalie beat up tommy i was just like yeah and then we got tasiki versus jelly bean and then mariah lynn jumps in and hey, let me just say this back to my a millionth reason why i don't like mariah lynn mind your business boo mind your business and mariah lynn just need to mind her business because it's like even if B if bianca was fighting i could be like okay i can see why she jumped in but it's just like mariah lynn 
then jumping in for Tasiki just doesn't sit right with me because of the fact that Tasiki never jumped in for Mariah Lynn. And then on top of that, the girl that was jumping in for you this whole time, you not jumping in for her. It's just like, so I honestly don't know why she's jumping in for Tasiki. Like, when Bianca Bianca came on this show to fight Sapphire for you, and I'm and Mariah Lynn's talking about, oh no, I'm cool with Sapphire. Don't fight her. I'm cool with her. Like Mariah Lynn not writing for her friend, and she claimed Bianca her friend, but she want to write for Tasiki, and she claimed Tasiki her friend. But I don't see Tasiki sliding for Mariah Lynn. Mariah Lynn got into a fight with Sapphire. I ain't see Tasiki fight in. Um, I saw. Damn, who Mariah Lynn just pushed Callie. I didn't see Tasiki fight here. If Callie would have whooped Mariah Lynn ass, Tasiki was not gonna jump in. She was gonna be in her confessional saying, damn, that's messed up. Um Bri Bianca, Bianca is the person that you should be jumping in fights for. She was the person that came on this show to fight for you. So her fighting for Tasiki. And to seek you in the back, like, oh yeah, my girls eat. Then it's just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, your girls eat, but why is your girl Mariah Lynn? Because, and not, not and not, and this is, and me saying that statement is not even on some hater stuff. It's like, why is your girl Mariah Lynn? And I don't see to seek you do anything for Mariah Lynn. So it's just like, yeah, Mariah Lynn, I'm gonna need you to learn something because, you know, learn where your loyalty lie because the girl you fighting for is not fighting for you and the girl that's fighting for you, you not fighting for her. I don't understand. And then on top of that, I saw that Meatball pressed Jayla. And y'all, on a popular opinion, I really don't think that Jayla's scared of Meatball. Like, if... Like, I really don't think Jayla's scared of Meatball. And I'm gonna just leave it like that until the episode come out. But yeah, y'all, that's all I have. You know, Baddies Caribbean episode four recap. I'll be back with episode five recap. And yeah, y'all, just make sure in the meantime, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe, y'all share, and all that. Don't, don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understand.